More and more homes that were purchased in the last two years are coming back up for sale. Many of these homeowners were affected by cost of living increases, interest rates, or an unexpected life change that required them to move. But there's a lot of properties that are coming up for sale simply due to buyer's remorse, and often there were mistakes made during the buying process, which leads to this feeling of regret later down the road. So in this video, I'm going to give you my top tips to help you avoid that awful feeling of buyer's remorse. My name is Jesse McClellan and I'm a realtor here in Oshawa, Ontario with the Lisa Abbott team. If you want to stay up to date on the real estate market and what's happening, especially in Durham region and the GTA, then subscribe to our channel and please give this video a thumbs up because it helps me reach more people like you. At the end of this video, if you have any questions about the market or would like help finding your dream home, there's a link in the description where you can book a call with me at a time that works best for you. There are a few common things that I hear from sellers who are regretting their purchase or that I find myself consistently reminding buyers of throughout the process. The first mistake often made is buyers simply not having a plan in mind. This goes for both personal and investment properties. I know when you're viewing homes, it can be hard to look at them and think big picture because you're caught up in the excitement and joy of thinking this could be mine and going through all of those wonderful possibilities. You're thinking about all of those plans you have and you're maybe not considering some of the potential downsides of the property. If this isn't an investment, but a property you plan on living in, do you know how long you think you'll be living there? What would your life look like at that time? If you plan on having children down the road, is this a home that you could see yourself raising a child in? Is this the area you could see yourself raising a child in? Do you know what school they would be attending? Or if you're at a different stage in your life, are the stairs going to be an issue long term? Do you need laundry and everything on the main floor? Think about the functionality of the layout as well. This is where your agent can help you and point out some of the potential upsides and downsides of a property and how it might function for you and your family. If it is an investment property, there are a lot more things that you need to be thinking about, which could be its own video, but for starters, you need to think about your timeline. How long do you plan on owning this property? Are you expecting quick gains from appreciation or are you planning to ride this out long term? What's the market rent for the property? Does the rent cover your costs or most of your costs? Can you afford to carry the mortgage during a vacant period? And those are just some of the questions that you need to know the answers to. And all of that brings us to the next point. Can you handle fluctuations in the market? Just because real estate prices have been increasing for as long as we can remember, that doesn't mean it's a smooth ride to the top. There are ups and downs along the way and you have to be prepared for that and understand the conditions of the market you're purchasing in. Right now in Durham region, we've hit a summer slowdown combined with two recent rate increases. So we've definitely seen prices dropping slowly. So there is a good chance you purchase a home right now and it could be worth less money in the near future. But unless you're purchasing with the mindset of flipping it and making a quick profit, that shouldn't discourage you from buying a home when the time is right for you. Many of the people who run into buyer's remorse due to price fluctuations went into it trying to time the market and thinking it's only up from there. You should purchase a home when the time is right for you, not trying to gamble like it's a casino. It may be hard knowing that your property has decreased in value, but if you bought a home that works for you, you didn't overpay for it and overextend yourself, and you plan on owning it longer term, which to me is at least five years, then you should come out ahead and these price fluctuations over the short term should be a little bit less of a concern. My next tip to help you avoid buyer's remorse is understanding the true cost of owning a home. Replacing big ticket items like a furnace, air conditioner, windows, or a new roof can be very expensive and can often come by surprise. Are you financially prepared to replace those items if something does break? This isn't to scare you away from owning a home, but just understand what you're getting into. Talk with your realtor about the costs of owning and maintaining an older home versus a newer home, or a home with a septic and well system versus a home on municipal services. You can also look into different condo apartment or condo townhouse options that may include repairs for certain expensive items like the roof or windows in their condo fees. My next tip is really important and is probably the most common mistake buyers make, and that's panic buying or buying with emotion. This can happen when buyers are bidding on homes but aren't getting their offers accepted. It's important to keep a level head and not get discouraged, but also not lean too far the other way and make reckless offers and overextend yourself. 
Make sure your home and the area suit your needs and don't get caught up in the fear of missing out. There are many buyers who purchased over the last several years in very hot market conditions who are now trying to sell their properties because they bought a home or into a neighborhood that is for one reason or another less desirable. We see this quite often in parts of Oshawa and Durham region. In a hot market, almost every home will sell and it can sell in multiple offers way over asking. So homes with serious issues or homes in rougher neighborhoods will sell for a very high price, even in line with homes in nicer areas. But when the market cools down, those people who panic bought a home that was maybe in rough condition with less desirable features or is located in a not so great neighborhood, if they try and sell their property in a market that's moving slowly, they they often run into problems trying to sell their home, and that's because the market conditions have changed. Buyers have a lot more options and aren't willing to pay high value for a home that has issues or isn't in the greatest area because they have plenty of other options available. So those homes can end up sitting on the market for months and even selling at a loss depending on the purchase price and when they bought it. Working with a realtor who understands the current market trends and knows the area you're buying in will make a big difference. Your realtor should be bringing up the pros and cons of every home you consider purchasing to help you make the best, most informed decision for you and help you avoid buyer's remorse in the future. If you have any questions about buying or selling a home in and around Durham region, you can use the link in the description to book a call with me. I'm happy to chat. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye.